Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, we're starting real quick on my website, hlmodtech.com. I want to show you my HL Mod Tech profile. This is in Tinkercad. When you click on that, it'll take you to all of my designs, and I want to show you something I added brand new. I'm going to show you how to do it, and I'd also like some feedback. So check it out. This is my Tinkercad logo tutorial. Of course, there is that link. And then I added a second one to one of my new favorite designs, the Make a Dragon that is 3D printable, and it's got a QR code on it. So now, friends, if you see one of these images with a QR code, you can aim your phone at it, and it'll instantly take you to that link to follow the tutorial. You could also just type the bit.ly. So the program that I'm using is Lightburn. It is for laser cutting, and it is absolutely magic. This is so fast, friends. I'm going to hit Tools and Create QR Code and drag the box where I want it to be. Now I need to paste a link right here. I'm going to make a link that goes right to the HL Mod Tech Tinkercad page. Notice I copy the link, switch to Lightburn, paste that link, and it takes this code and turns it into that bit of data which our phones can read. Now as you can see this is built for laser cutting so it's going to fill those all in. When I pick one of my settings that has fill, you can see this one is set for fill but it doesn't show up filled until I click the preview button. Bingo, there's my awesome QR code. And then right down here, I can save the image. Notice if I pause, I can hold shift, which I'm gonna do right now, and save it as transparent as well. I'm gonna put it in my downloads, and I'm gonna call this HL Tank Web, and hit save. And now I'm gonna hit okay to cancel that. And now when I switch to my downloads folder, there is that awesome QR code that'll take you right to my web page. I'm gonna double click on it so we can get a better look at it. You can see this is with the transparent background, so it's got whatever's in the back. Here is the other image where I pasted it in with the white. Let's go back to the light burn real quick. I'm gonna go back to that preview again one more time. And this time, I'm gonna save it the normal way. Of course, I'm going to call it HL Web, and this one, I'm going to put the WT after it because it's got the white background. Let's see how that looks by going back to our downloads. There it is. I'm going to double click to open it, and this is how it looks with the white background ready to be easily read by your phone. How cool is that? As I wrap up, everybody, thanks again for watching. And of course, I'd love to hear if you have any other ideas for where QR codes may be useful or other places that you create your own QR codes for free. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find my day one favorites, useful starters, and then also Tinkercad essentials. Friends, I do also want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to take a moment to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.